Jack and Mandalay Bay, we, we haven't gone anywhere. And Jim's going to tell us about his, uh, he put together a really cool system that's kind of a quasi teleprompter, but without the cost of yeah. a real teleprompter so um, for lyrics. Yeah, I think it's being efficient. I had a, I started working with Bonnie about seven years ago, and uh, when I came in, Debbie had a big pile of lyric sheets, and uh, part of the job was dropping the sheets on the floor in order for her to do the show, and she kicked them out a little bit. Inherently, every show, someone would steal something. So every show was going back and reprinting, reprinting or making sure you had everything so she had it up there, and uh, I was sitting there, and uh, some of my friends were in business with PowerPoint, and I'm like, you got to be able to do this live for us. It's got to be easy. never done it before, so I had no clue. Um, and I had a little uh, uh, TC-1000 uh, compact computer with me, which is uh, about slow enough to, uh, I don't know, do nothing with. But uh, for this type of application, uh, I thought about it, and uh, I went up to our tour manager that day, and I was like, hey, uh, we're going to Europe. I said, why don't we just put a, a flat screen on the floor between Debbie's wedges and, our, and run PowerPoint? And he's like, you can do that? I'm like, sure. At that point, I had no idea. Yeah, <laughs> that's really good. Really like, so, anyway, so... Uh, Say I, uh, yes, and then figure it out. Yeah, so I went in, I, I took all of her sheets, and I typed them all into PowerPoint, I loaded them all up in the computer, and I bought a 75-foot PGA kit or a 19-inch... Uh, uh, 19-inch Samsung monitor, and we flipped it over, and made a couple little brackets on the back of it, and uh, just prop it up between your things. And uh, during the show, I had a presentation mode on her stand up there, which I'll show you in a second. But uh, for the set, it's like we had a 19-inch monitor-sized white piece of paper on the floor in front of her for all of her shows. And I just uh, I run it here from uh, from my TC from thousand here. But if I'm in the middle of something or, or I miss something or whatever, she's got control of it. If they call an audible or whatever, but it's not a scrolling teleprompter, but it's just like having a light on the paper on the floor every day for that. And, it, you know, it's, uh, and I don't think she uses it all that much, but it's definitely the security blanket. Right, you know, right, right. There. And when it's not, it's like the, the thing of that. So, and what's, what, how much do you have into this? Cheap. I mean, it's really, really cheap. Nowadays, you can buy one of those monitors for, what, $130? Yeah. Uh, cables probably maybe $60, and then any small little tablets, no more than a couple hundred bucks. You get three, four hundred bucks, and you can have your whole show you know, running off of a Right now, something like this that's uh, great for your artist. And, it, and, and if you are an artist, trust me, it looks a hell of a lot better than a, a book on a music stand. Right? Uh, but... I just have a, uh, right here. It rides in a Pelican 1600 with us and we can fly it anywhere. Simple. Very cool. Like we were talking about out here on the... Uh, I just have a presentation remote tape to the stand here for Debbie. I run everything back there. Here's the monitor, but um, in case she wants to change it, so this is where the monitor guy that doesn't want to do it, he doesn't tell him he has control over there. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he just tells the artist, hey, look, you can stand there and change your own thing. Let him run their money. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So there you go. And, uh, and, and again, I was out at a gig a couple weeks ago and saw it. One of the, the singer had a giant fake monitor in front of him, and he just had lyric sheets taped all over it. That's yeah. what it was for. It wasn't even really a yeah. monitor. It was just this is tiny. Like I said, you put it in a, you drop it into a. Uh... Okay, and I got to tell you what. I got to give props to. We used a bunch of different types of. Uh... This is this is pretty cool. This is giving props to someone right here. We used a bunch of different ways to make this stand stick up. Right. It was in it was in parts of uh, uh, lyrics holders or this right. and that. And Neil Moxon was doing some stuff, and uh, Neil Moxon decided that he was going to tape on with gaff tape a little piece of wood. <laughs> right? So kudos to Neil on this one. And uh, he taped this little thing, and I think we've been four years of using it this way right now. Because it's gaff tape and wood. Gaff tape and wood, and that's it's a, that's a that's the Neil Moxon method right there. But it's a great, great idea. Well, Someone steal that and build it on your own. <laughs> send, him the, send him the check. He'll love you.